Thank you. Uh, Dr. Jean, uh, you made a very interesting comment, and the slide is, is quite impressive, showing the possibility of flow of hydrocarbons between the two carbonate reservoirs in Egypt, so and in Cyprus, the Aphrodite. Uh, comparing this to Lebanon, is there a possibility, again, you're talking about the carbonate reservoir, is there a possibility of a similar flux? Of course, it might be a little bit too early to talk about this. A similar flux between the Lebanese reservoirs and Tamar in Israel or the Levathian, and, and if so, what type of, of flux you expect especially that now Israel is already producing, so there will be, if indeed, a flux towards Israel. The other question, if I may, and I'll sit down, uh, you have correctly stated that ENI is already drilling beyond Zohar, and this is true. Um, and the potential, there are already indications that there is, you know, speculation of, of hydrocarbons below Zohar. Um, what made you say that this is a carbonate layer? And what is the uh, analogy between this layer and the Lebanese expected carbonate reservoir? Thank you. Okay, concerning the deep Zor carbonate target, which is now being drilled, you see on the seismics that it looks in the same shape. It's this buildup. This buildup is very characteristic. It shows a carbonate buildup. So we don't know. There can be drilling surprises. But remember, it's interesting, when e and I took the block there, north of Egyptian water, we were not looking for carbonates at all. They were looking for deep sands far away from the Nile Delta, in the deep plain. And suddenly they found this bumping structure, so it came as a surprise. But you know, it's the seismics that tells and the geologic understanding of how these buildups form that suggests that there might be a second bump, a second carbonate bump. The unknown is, is there a closure? Is it a good quality reservoir or is it tight? And this you cannot predict from the existing. So you have to drill to know those reservoir characteristics. Regarding your question on uh, Lebanon carbonates, I think you have to distinguish, if I understand well, two aspects in your questions. Number one, is there a natural flow of petroleum through the petroleum, through the ages, through geologic ages, that ha might have contributed to fill these carbonates? So we are discussing a natural process. The answer is yes. There is a possibility we even modeled it. So this is a normal hydrocarbon migration towards the basin flanks and possible filling of those carbonates. Then I think you are asking a different question, is whether production in those Israeli fields, human production, could produce oil contained on the Lebanese side? That's, I think, part of the question you have. So on the second question, I can make two statements. Number one, I don't know because I have not studied. We don't know this. So we have not made any evaluation of this. We don't know. Now, from reasoning, reasoning, good sense, looking at the structures and the distances, it's hardly possible. It, it doesn't look easily possible to have, if I understood well, production from Tamar or other Israeli reservoirs that would bring a flow of oil from those Lebanese carbonates. So it, it, it's, look, it's too far, it's not connected, it's too far away. But again, we have not studied the issue, we don't know in detail, and we cannot make detailed comments, technical comments on this. It's just a matter of good sense, I would say. Did I, did I answer your di different aspects? No, no, but Zor was, was migrated naturally by yes. the deeper part uh, on the Egyptian side. I understand. If these channels are connected yeah. and there is a, uh, a way to aggravate this flow mm. through production, then the possibility is there and it might be worth studying. No, the, again, don't mix migration pathway during natural migration that takes millions of years to occur, very slow process, 
I'm not talking about mix. I'm talking about the possibility of channels that might uh, allow the reservoir with a certain potential amount of gas in Lebanon under high pressure to migrate, if these channels are in any way connected, towards Israel as Israel is producing and reducing the pressure on its side. Okay, so it's human. I cannot make comments. I don't know. It doesn't look very likely, but I don't know. And we have never worked on this. One last question, as we are a bit tight on schedule. Uh, I was just uh, wondering, uh, at the present time we have, we all know, uh, difficulties in producing electricity to cover uh, the local demand. With all the pollution that goes with, due to uh, importing fuel, etc. So uh, producing gas would be a good option for Lebanon to cover the local demand in terms of electricity and networking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is there, at the present time, what is the strategy of uh, the lo Lebanese government yeah. for the distribution of that production between covering well, the local market yes. demand or, yeah. and export? Well, well I believe uh, what we're seeing today is uh, all linked. And uh, to get to a win-win situation, uh, we all know that we have to shift the electricity uh, um, factories to gas and it's known in terms of cost, in, in, in terms of uh, pollution, in terms of uh, uh, also supply and uh, to have all the structure for the gas ready. In the same time, it's sure that uh, uh, the, the local consumption of any gas which will be found should begin to be in Lebanon because it's the most costly to, 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 uh, to have it, uh, you know, just near the fields. So it's a win-win. Uh, asking me what is the strategy and the planning, uh, I say, frankly, that we have the bits and pieces of the puzzle which, is, which are ready. Now we have to link it all together. But this means that, you know, from today, of course, we have to move in parallel to the same plan that was ready, in fact, since 2001, which was to shift the, the, Lebanese, the Lebanese electricity factories to gas, and which are already uh, 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 present, and uh, even the, the, the planification and the structures and the cost to have the gas pipes all over Lebanon are, uh, are already ready. So, yes, uh, it has to, to move forward, like you said, for pollution problems, yes, for sure, but all for all the other reasons. Uh, if just to see the decrease in cost between uh, the, the, the mazout and the, and the gas and all the other benefits. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, so one last question. Uh, Yusuf Arbid from Beirut Arab University, Petroleum Engineering. I have a question for Dr. Jean. Uh, do you think that uh, we can learn from our neighbors uh, that if we have the similar geology, that we can know what we can do in the next steps, including drilling or other production, for example. If we have similar geological structure, do you think we can learn from them? Definitely there are analogies, but it's not copy-paste. So you cannot take conclusion from this place to that place, especially in this highly complex basin without cautious and uh, interpretation to make and sure you understand the differences. So in a general sense, yes, it's interesting to know what's going on, but you cannot copy-paste the conclusion. Basins are deeper, reservoirs are different, they evolve laterally, many things are different. But it's possible to take conclusions and extract from those conclusions this part that can be applicable to Lebanese reservoirs. So it's interesting to know that it's not copy past the conclusion. Always, um, I have a question for you. Though, because it's always uh, we want and we don't want to discover, uh, you know, uh, potential onshore for all the reasons in a small country. But what can you, uh, you know, uh, know from the pot potential, the onshore potential, whereas the segments and the, uh, are already there and almost known. Uh, 
Definitely there is an onshore potential. There had been discussion in the past with authorities in Lebanon to do a modern evaluation of this onshore potential. The data are pretty old, there are some wells. They would need to have, to, to, would need some modern interpretations. And I would hope that in some future, such an onshore, onshore evaluation study will be done. Because really, there, is, there are signs that there is a liquid potential. The liquid potential I mentioned on the coastline quickly extends onshore definitely. But it has to be interpreted and analyzed with up-to-date techniques, state-of-the-art techniques. And the previous interpretations existing are pretty old now. Yes, it's very interesting, definitely. So it's another new province. And... Uh, I'm quite sure that following the first discoveries offshore, you will have a lot of demands of operators to open the onshore domain. I'm quite sure.